So the bones of the human face have apparently evolved for more robust protection against repeated impacts by small objects like the human fist, which they claim similarly evolved to protect the hand's delicate musculoskeletal system when punching. The author, Dave Carrier, of this report, this study, it's called Protective Buttressing of the Homonym Face. He said in a statement that if indeed the evolution of our hand proportions were associated with selection for fighting behavior, you might expect that the primary target, the face, had undergone evolution to better protect it from injury when punched. So this is some really interesting stuff and pretty groundbreaking stuff. Carrier and his co-author contend that these changes to the facial feature appear at the same time as human ancestors evolving a hand with proportions capable of forming a fist. So it makes a lot of sense, folks. Together, the findings suggest that many of the facial features that characterize early homonyms may have in fact evolved to protect the face from injury during fighting with fists. This is obviously at a time before we are using any tools and when humans were still in the process of evolving the features that we know and understand as you know what a humanoid facial structure looks like in a bone structure so the implications reach outside debates about outside debates about human evolution the debate over whether there is a dark side to human nature goes back to french philosopher rousseau who argued that before civilization humans were noble savages that civilization actually corrupted humans and made us more violent interesting debate. A lot of interesting stuff there. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, folks.